Gunther Schuller's participation in this project was a part of a commission from the Monterey Jazz Festival in 2001. They were doing a big Miles Davis celebration for the 75th year anniversary and asked me to uh, put something together for my set with my nanette uh, that had to do with Miles. So I decided to call Gunther and we spoke about the possibilities of putting a suite together from uh, Miles' great recording, Birth of the Cool. When the records first came out, they came on, on, out on 78s and, you know, 10-inch discs and um, was a total non-success. The critics didn't understand it, musicians didn't understand it, because this music was so cooled off. So, uh, it's such a new sound, jazz sound, and that came from the Claude Thornhill Orchestra, which had this very velvety, subdued kind of quality with the two French horns and the tuba and all the low instruments. It wasn't the bright, hard kind of jazz that was current before that. So nobody really understood it. It is, of course, a classic success, those, those pieces. And guess what happened? It, is, it became an overnight success once one of the producers at Capitol Records, seeing this mu wonderful music languishing in oblivion on the 78s, he decided to, why don't we reissue it on LP? And they did that, and that guy had the genius to give it a title. You talk about what's, what's in the language, what's in a name. Birth of the Cool sold that record. And by that time, people had caught up with the fact that this was really pretty tremendous music. And of course, all of that is due to f four arrangers, composers, Gil Evans, John Lewis, John Carisi, and Jerry Mulligan. They're the ones. And, um, and maybe Gill's Moon Dreams is probably the ultimate achievement of that whole series of pieces. It's really very like, like double time. Three and four and um, ba ba boo ba da. See, see how slow that sounds? Yeah. Gunther was a part of that session and played French horn on the original recording. And it turns out that he conducted some of the music also for that first date of the birth of the cool. Uh, he worked really closely with Gil Evans and John Lewis and, and Miles. So uh, it was a real natural thing to pick some tunes from the original recording and put it together in a sweet form with Gunther's ideas, his imagination, and development as uh, one of the giants in orchestration. Modern music. I was just very honored to be able to play the French horn with all these great musicians, you know, Miles Davis and Lee Conus and J.J. Johnson, Jerry Mulligan, they were all my heroes. Hi, hi. Hey, you can too. Yeah, we're going to live forever, right? Well, we play Moon Dreams the way it was, and then I go into a interlude yeah. and, and work on it. That's and that fair. modulates into move, uh -huh. and we play that straight, uh -huh. and then I do a thing on that. Uh -huh. And then we get to publicity. 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 publicity yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the connection with Joe into the tune. I want to get it still a little better. Okay. Rolling? Yeah. Yes, rolling. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Two, three. God, those voicings are so incredible. Yeah. If you analyze those, I mean, every note, there is one wrong, six, it's just six horns. That's what we had. And uh, there isn't one chord that isn't perfectly voiced. Well, it's been about a half an hour on each, an hour on each Who knows? I mean, he sat at the piano and, you know, yeah. felt it all out. But no, because it's at the level of Ellington's voicing. That's, that's how good it is. And a lot of people, even today, they, they cannot quite do that. Some, and he did what, like what Ellington did, he put notes in unexpected places. 
I do. That's what he does. He puts a nose in on his back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to put the notes in on expected places. That's, that's right. What these, uh, <laughs> in the beginning. That's I mean, you put a couple of notes in dad, on That's what my dad told me. Yeah. Yeah. Moon Dreams is one of the most beautiful tunes uh, from the birth of the cool. That tune was real special for him to, to put together for, for this recording and is the first movement of The Birth of the Cool Suite. Move is one of those tunes that uh, I learned when I was a kid and uh, loved from the original record with Miles and just had heard through the years. It was one of the tunes my dad taught me when I was first coming up. So uh, that was an important piece that I wanted Gunther to do an orchestration of and he really uh, got totally into the tune and wrote all these things that were very reminiscent of the original. Uh, and it also features Barry Reese on trumpet and Steve Slagle on alto saxophone. So it's a new orchestration of that piece. I don't know why. Just keep it down. I mean, the human nature tendency is to, when you go up on a musical line, you want to make a crescendo. That's in us humans. But sometimes it's better not to do that. Good, what's more? Do you Publicity is another one of those songs that, that I learned when I was a kid. And it's, it's one of those haunting, incredible themes that once you play it and learn it and hear it, you're singing it all day long. You know, it's one of those beautiful pieces of music, a gem. And uh, Gunther's orchestration on that is also like, really fantastic. Man. It captures uh, a lot of different moments uh, within and features different people. Gunther is just an amazing, beautiful person. Man. He's, he just glows and has so much love and passion about what he's doing. And he really lives in the world of music and has combined so many different combinations of uh, the most creative things that can happen in, within jazz and contemporary classical music and, and such. Uh, the, his whole third stream ideas and, and movement, in a way, uh, combined a lot of folk elements and different, different things from the world of music that, that have really guided me through the years and given me a lot of confidence to improvise and play free within uh, all structures of uh, what we call jazz. Mm -hmm. 